Hi there. I hope you're doing good today. Today we are going to talk about how to find chiral centers. So for an atom to be a chiral center, it must be tetrahedral. And thus, it must be bonded to four different things. Yes, four different things. So let's see this molecule right here. Is this a chiral center? No, it is not. We see that we have two hydrogens over here, a bromine and then a nitrogen. This way, this molecule is not, it does not have a chiral center. Let's see an example of a molecule that has a chiral center. So we have a carbon right here, bonded to bromine, bonded to sulfur, bonded to a nitrogen, and then a hydrogen. In this case, we see that it is bonded to four different things. And hence, this right here, this carbon right here, I'm sorry, I was just getting my pain. This carbon right here has, is a chiral center. So let's look at another example. And this time around, Pause the video and then do it yourself to see if you understand it better. So you can pause the video now and then go over this to see if it's a Carl sensor or not. Okay, so I suppose now you've gone through it and let's see whether it's a Carl sensor or not. So we see over here that this carbon right here is bonded to four different things. And thus, it's a Carl 